hear my washing machine in the background. Hello, 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 Kevin. Good morning. Good sunny morning to you. Oh my gosh, it is, it is. Oh, for you guys on uh, our Facebook page, you're tuning into a Thursday edition of Fast Facts and Features with me, the brand ambassador, Jeanette. And uh, before we get into um, what it's kind of scrolling along the bottom of the screen there, but our Mirage floor, 10% uh, off sale right now, is Kevin, it's going to get stinking, stinking, stinking hot. Um, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, up to about 34, feeling like 37 wow. Celsius people out there, um, not our American people. That's not uh, Fahrenheit. So we have people and they're going to kick up the air conditioner. They get open the window. So what's some words of wisdom when you have a hardwood floor and we got stinking hot weather? What can you expect? Well, provided that it's temporary, which it usually is in Vancouver, it's uh, it shouldn't be much of an issue. So we're, we're definitely looking for longer term trends, especially in terms of humidity. Um, mm -hmm. So with hot with hotter temperatures can come higher humidity. Thankfully, not so much. Again, in Vancouver, we're not known for high humidity, even though it rains here all the time. People put those two together, but that's not the case. Um, so I would just generally just watch the temperature, watch the humidity. Everybody with a hardwood floor should have an RH or a relative humidity monitor in their home. Um, you know, if it starts getting getting too high over the summer, um, dehumidifiers might be might be necessary. Um, again, we live in a pretty blessed place, and the, the the temperature is quite quite stable. Humidity is generally pretty stable, but. Yeah, just keep an eye on it. If you start getting into humidity ranges over 60%, uh, you know, within your home, then maybe it's time to look at purchasing a dehumidifier and, and running it during those those times. Okay, here's going to be a, I don't know, question. <laughs> okay, so when you're going to crank up the air conditioning system, a lot of homes either have the heat pumps, so thank goodness for heat pumps because it's a little bit more regulating in homes, but they're going to crank up the, the air conditioner. Um, does that add moisture to the air? What's what does cranking up the, the air conditioner in your home do? No, as as you're um, as you're cooling the air, you're actually typically reducing the, the relative humidity level of it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So hotter, uh, hotter. That's why we we generally see hotter temperatures bring along increased humidity, especially in places in other parts of Canada, in particular Toronto and uh, even throughout the prairies. So. Uh, colder air is actually less able to it actually expels the moisture out of it um, you know I'm not a chemist or a scientist by any means just a foreign <laughs> guy but uh, lower temperatures will bring um, lower humidity levels so it is one way to reduce the humidity in a home if you're lucky enough to have an AC system is to is to turn it on and you know you should see those those RH levels drop so I'm going to show mine because I do have hardwood floors in my cottage here. And would you say this is like a Honeywell, just a little one that kind of sits here and it's saying it's 21 degrees right now in my cottage and 25% relative humidity. It's pretty dry. So pretty um, dry. I will, yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> it's a, it's a very little airtight cottage that I live in. So how many would you say, I think this was only about, I don't know, 25, $30, something like that. How many mm -hmm. would you say your house should have of these so you really understand? Because each room could be a little bit different. It could, but I mean, we don't need to go overboard on it. I, I think okay. provided you have, I think provided you have one within the home, that's more than most people. So if we could get people to buy one, uh, okay. we, we'd be well ahead of the game. You know, if you have separate floors in your home and you're like, yeah, you know, the environment within those floors is, is clearly different. I can feel it, that there's temperature differences or... Quite often, basements will be wetter um, than, mm. than other parts of the home. That's pretty common, right? So you'd want to have a separate meter for down there to, to watch that. And again, if it is starting to get damp and, and wet within a basement, um, you know, you're going to start looking at running dehumidifiers um, during some mm. of those peak uh, high humidity times. Yeah. So that leads into a great segue. I love when we chitty chat and it just leads right into a uh, fantastic question I'm going to have for you. So Mirage Hardwood Floors, Hardwood Flooring comes in A, how many widths? We're going to test your knowledge here today. B, 
what is the relative humidity rating for their engineered floor? What do they say you need to keep your, you know, uh, on the watch? And let's get okay. you to answer question A and question B today. Perfect. Yeah. So on the on the engineered side, Mirage has three three widths that we work with. It's the five inch wide, um, which okay. when not, not so long ago we considered a wide plank, but now it's the narrow option. Still perfectly <laughs> suitable for smaller areas, you know, condos, townhouses, um, mm -hmm. and just even if you like the look. And and some of the thinner planks seem to be coming back in terms of popularity. So there's a five inch classic. Uh, there's a six and a half inch wide, which is kind of like the Goldilocks floor uh, size for us uh, with Mirage. People love it. It's not too big, it's not too small, it fits a lot of spaces. Um, and then if you have big wide open rooms, which a lot of new home builds do, a lot of detached houses, uh, they have a seven and three quarter uh, inch wow. wide plank, which is a beauty. Um, and then their re relative humidity range is one of their highest selling points that people are unaware of. And it's the floor is so well engineered and so well made um, that they have a warranted range from a, a low of 25%, which seems oh to be where you're sitting right now. But that's pretty low. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of floor manufacturers will only warrant it up to 40% uh, as their low point. So Mirage is quite confident in the product. It's going to stay together down to 25%. Um, and then they have a high of 80%. Which oh my again, goodness. Is really high. Um, so yes. there's, a mass, there's a massive range that for the vast majority of our clients in the Vancouver area, um, it's going to be warranted for the, the temperatures that we typically see. So that's a good, um, a nice feature. And like I said, mm -hmm. there's many engineered wood products out there that are 40 to 60% as a range, or maybe 35 to 55%. Um, yeah, they're just not quite as confident in the, obviously in their, their floor's ability to withstand these swings in humidity, which is the greatest stress that a, that a wood floor uh, takes. So Raj is very confident in their floors and our experience with them has been uh, to prove that confidence. They're absolutely fantastic. So question before I get to another question, <laughs> um, is all the thicknesses of the five, the, the six and a quarter and the seven and three quarters, are they all the same thickness? Because I know when I was a project manager, we get designers out there that's like, oh, I'd like to do like a random width. So could I put the five next to the six, next to the seven? You certainly could. Yeah, they're all in the three quarter inch. Um, okay. They're um, the... Um, Sorry, they're three quarter inch SPF platform spruce pine fir. Um, so yeah, it's a solid wood. Now they do have a, I'm hesitating a bit because they do have another collection that is made out of half inch uh, plywood. Um, so those obviously, well, you could mix and match the five and the seven inch that they offer on that. Okay. But the, um, the, their standard line, um, yeah, if you wanted to do a multiple width, you could. Everything across their product range has the four millimeter lamella or what some people incorrectly call a veneer. Um, so you get the same thickness of the actual hardwood across all of these products. So it's really just a visual preference. There's no performance difference or um, even the amount of value that you're getting in the floor. It's it's part of Mirage's a la carte program. How, how wide mm -hmm. do you want your board? What species do you want? What color do you want on it? What grain do you like? Plain sawn, flat grain? Do you like rift and quarter grain? Do you like glossier floors or do you like matte floors? You can mix and match and create your your perfect floor as, as the client. Last week, it's it's finished to order. So, you, Kevin, I'm not sure. Oh, my, we lost there for a second. That was weird. Um, so, it's finished to order. So, you're guaranteed to get the same color, the same gloss um, in in the floor. So, that's fantastic, as you mentioned last last week. So, let's finish this up for Mirage. How many different grades? And I'd love for you to speak about that word grade on a pre finished floor. Yeah, perfect. Because a lot of people. As soon as I'm in the showroom and a client who's the average client is is never bought a wood floor before, so they're relying on us to educate them, and that's what we love to do. As soon as I say grade or say this is a character grade, immediately they they think that it's inferior. 
Um, mm. So I want to dispel that myth. There's absolutely nothing inferior about a Mirage or any of our higher end brands character grade floor is simply a visual difference. Um, okay. You're going to, you're going to have filled knots and you're going to have slightly more color variation, but there's nothing structurally or finish wise or anything that's going to detract from the experience. It's mostly it's strictly just a visual difference. So yeah. Mirage across the vast majority of their line, it offers um, an exclusive grade and a character grade. Um, okay. So character grade, as the name implies, will have character. It'll have all of the natural aspects of the tree, including knots and mineral streaks and color variation. Everything is kind of allowed to be seen visually within the floor. Uh, creates a bit more of a dynamic looking floor. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have their exclusive grade, which uh, is cleaner than that. And it eliminates most of the knotting. It's a little bit more uh, uniform in terms of color, in terms of the heartwood and sapwood variation. Um, but what it is not is a select and better grade. And that is typically something that is almost perfectly clear. So there'd be mm -hmm. absolutely zero knots, even minuscule ones, the most clean and select part of the tree in terms of color variation. Um, it's almost impossible to get this type of wood in a, uh, you know, in a water plant product, which mm -hmm. is what everybody's purchasing. So that grade has pretty much fallen off the, off the radar. So typically do not confuse clients. We say, do you like knots in your floor or do you not? And from yeah. there we can, we can provide uh, solutions for them. I love that. Um, so do you want to not worry about your floor when you have a family and a pet and dog and shoes on? Then you want to have the naughty floor. If That's you right. are a shoe off family that uh, you want a very calm, elegant, give everybody the little slippers. You want to have, of course, the, uh, the, the clean, cleaner kind of grade. So great conversation today, uh, Kevin. Um, again, remind everybody the Mirage sale goes on until what date? June 10th. So we still have lots of time. Okay, perfect. And we'll be back next week because we're going to talk about another brand in your store that you've got going on. It's another Canadian brand that is uh, on sale for um, a time frame in your store as well. So uh, join us next. Um, uh, what do you think, Kevin? Are we going to do Wednesday or Thursday next week just to kind of tease the audience out there? What do you think? Well, I think Wednesday should work, um, okay. you know, subject to other things. <laughs> Subject to life out there. That's Subject right. to life. Life is busy. Yes. 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 There's more and more people that I'm finding, even in my friend circle, that are kind of staying put and they're taking that money, you know, maybe that hundred or two hundred thousand dollars that they would have put into a new house and they're kind of putting it back in and doing some renovations this summer and into the fall. So um yeah. yeah. It's it's, it's now it's time. Investment. In Vancouver yeah. real estate, you never lose when you invest in your your property. So we're here Absolutely. to help. <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody, tune in next Wednesday at 10 a.m. for another edition of Fast Facts and Features with me, the brand ambassador, Jeanette, and Kevin, too. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.